Nobody Greater Podcast. Chris back here with you today. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment what you think below. Um, today, I come to you guys with some breaking news. If you guys haven't heard yet, Denzel Good, one of our offensive linemen, he retired today. Um, he was 31 years old, where he is 31 years old. Um, just a little bit of background on Denzel Good. 6'5", 340, was drafted seven round, pick 255 out of Mars Hill College. If you guys don't know what Mars Hill College is, uh, I don't blame you. It's a Division II a school that plays within the SAC Conference. Um, as you guys can imagine, come, coming out of a Division II school, your path to the NFL is a lot harder than the people coming out of Division I school. But because he had the sides of 6'5", 340, uh, I'm sure he wasn't 340 when he came into the league, but still, 6'5", 300 pounds, you, um, you're a big guy. You can definitely find a spot and find a role, especially if you work your butt off in the NFL on a team. Um, and he's probably the most notable person to come out of Mars Hill, to be honest with you. Um, a little bit of background on his career. He's out of the 62 games he played, he started 43. So that's a good percentage of the games. That's not a lot of games as far as how long his career was, which is about seven years. Um, but really, if you ask me, his career was really only like three or four years just because he was super, super injured. Um, he played with the Colts originally, if you guys didn't know, before the Raiders. So he played with the Colts. He was drafted by the Colts, played with them from 2015 to 2018. Um, nothing really too memorable right there. He was very, very injured throughout his tenure with the Colts. And um, that's why we were able to claim him off waivers in 2018 of December, um, if you guys don't remember that. He came in for the last three games and started because our starter at the time, Gabe, Jap Gabe Jackson, was injured. So he started the last three games. Um, and ever since then, um, he's just been off and on with the injury bug. Uh, I believe in 2020, he had COVID. Uh, a year after that, he tore his ACL because uh, he signed a two-year contract, and then he tore his ACL. Um, so as you guys, he, he just got a tough string of luck with the injury bug. Um, he was never really able to – I wouldn't say he never reached his full potential because he made it a lot further than he probably expected to make it. He probably wasn't even expected to get drafted. Not too many Division II people get drafted in the NFL. Uh, it's predominantly Division I players. But – you got people like him who slip through the cracks and, and make their path to the NFL. And I'm sure he done played a lot longer than he probably was expecting to when he was when he was at Mars Hill College. So uh, congratulations to Denzel Good on a seven to eight year career. Um, nothing to be ashamed about, man. Hey, some people just get injured, especially when you're a bigger person, too. You tend to be more likely to be injured. So. Nothing to snoot, nothing to uh, hold your head down about, man. Uh, you played a, a great career, or I wouldn't say a great career. You played a good career. Um, you was able to get a lot of good experience, 62 games. A lot of players don't even make it 62 games in the NFL. Um, and I'm talking about Division One players. A lot of Division One players don't even make it 62 games in the NFL. Better yet, start 43. Um, so congratulations to you, Denzel Good, on a good career. Um, I hope you made money that you are satisfied with, and um, we wish you the best in your future endeavors and whatever you choose to pursue after this NFL career. Um, but make sure y'all comment down below. Give a good congratulations to Denzel Good in case he see this video. I just want him to um, know that the Raiders Nation, we embraced you, man. We love you, and congratulations.